Everybody, this is InnoSteve here and welcome to day 8 of the InnoCraft Redstone Advent Calendar and today we're going to take a look at the Redstone Block and the Cauldron. So the Redstone Block is probably the most simple thing we've ever took a look in this series. The Redstone Block basically just behaves like a powered block. That means we can it can give output to any direction, to anything, or also to the top or and at bottom. And it's basically just the same if you, as if you power a block with a lever. What's pretty cool about the redstone block is it can be moved by piston. That means we can for example use it to power this other piston or to power this redstone dust right here. But there are some problems you can run into by using the redstone block. For example, you want to power this repeater right here and you won't affect this piston right here. This is not allowed to extend in your circuit. If you now power this piston, the repeater will power, but also the piston right here will extend, and that's pretty bad. And that is where the cauldron comes in. You can use the cauldron right here and the comparator right here. The cauldron gives the comparator output if it's filled with water. You can easily fill it with water by clicking it with a water bucket. Now, if you extend this piston, it will power this comparator and it won't affect this piston. This is only a useful feature if you're building compact circuits, but it's definitely pretty awesome. Another situation is the situation we have right here. You want to transfer a signal vertically upwards. Now you can power this piston and the repeater will power. But ooh, that's pretty bad. Here we have a little problem with the butt. If you want to see more about the butt, there is a link on the screen right now to the episode where I'll take a look at the butt. The redstone block has here the problem that it will but activate this piston because it's two blocks above the piston. And the piston is still powered, doesn't matter what you do down here, it will stay extended until you remove the redstone block right here. And this is another situation where you can use the handy little cauldron. The cauldron does not power anything, that means it will only give output to a comparator. And with that, we can extend it and retract it and we'll have the output at the comparator. Well, that's it for the cauldron and the redstone block. This has been Nassif and I'm going to see you tomorrow at day 9.